what's generally considered but a turn off for you. Anything involving water which acts anti-lube. WTF we were just taking about this in a group setting, and the group decided we were doing it wrong for not liking water, because of the anti-lube. Thanks for keeping me sane. Yiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiii
My biggest issue is that with animals are just too big. Like no offense I get it, and I don't mind big but they are just so weird I can't get it at all. While some it is absolutely gross and eye rollingly unrealistic, I find real more consistently of a turn off for me. I just can't stop wondering if they, mostly she though, really wants to be there, if they have been pressured, are they high, drunk, or trafficked? At least if it's drawn slash animated, or audio, then I know, that I'm no unwilling parties involved. To add on to this, I'm already suspending disbelief a little just by watching a cartoon, so it's a lot easier to think the characters are actually enjoying themselves than in regular it's no accident that wholesome and vanilla are extremely popular. You don't get that much of that in Iral, except homemade. I know the question wasn't, but I immediately though of a common move. When you'd slap the girl's face with their, or even worse, put it in her mouth at an angle, so it's just kind of poking the inside of her cheek. What the is that? It looks stupid. I'm sure it feels stupid. Just stop. I think it's more a domination slash humiliation thing. I admit that it was weird when the girl did it, but it was really fit on her tendency of wanting to be dominated and ended being kinda fun. I can kind of understand that but. I'm totally into doming, and to a lesser extent I'm down for humiliation play, yet it still does nothing for me. I just can't find it anything but ridiculous. Well, I'm into dominating, and don't really like humiliation, and yet it was fun, but like, I don't mind, but it's not something I'll go for, have better stuff to do to her. The male dude I used to see, would get off on like that. I'd be down there, and he would just randomly grab his, just slap me across the face with it, or tap my forehead. Meanwhile I'm just like you HM. Okay. Most lingerie. Scratchy lace. Straps, hooks, clasps. I mean a t-shirt and panties does more for me. I think lingerie often is more for us women, something that makes us feel pretty or s That's how I feel anyway. Because I enjoy wearing a nice set, even if my boyfriend isn't going to see it right away. I know that he enjoy the looks, but he just wonder if off. Like, yeah, it look good. So, can I pull on this? How do I get you naked? Yeah I think my ex liked when I wore lingerie, not because of how I looked in it, but how I felt and acted with it. I have more confidence and am more exciting so that's probably the draw. On my wedding night my husband was like, just take it off. I'm, I paid a fortune for this bra and unders, I'm going to stand here a while and you can admire me. Well first you have to get the combination right, then you have to unlock the clasp with a key, turning no more than exactly 87 degrees, then you have to undo the chastity knot, followed by these 14 hooks. I'm totally just making this all up, but that's sometimes what it seems like. When she's biting me. That kinda hurt, man. Bitting it's an art, and like all art, if you want a specific person to like it, you should tone it to their likings she should stop biting of a chunk of neck, starting gentle and going measuring the reactions to the escalating levels of strength in the biting, it's the way to go haha. <laughs> Men who posts photos of themselves naked never been aroused at all also pics. I don't understand what they want me to feel upon seeing their d Like yeah sure buddy I know what it looks like. Google has tons of them. Perfect example of the fault in the golden rule. Most guys send them because they would want you to send a pic in return. Can confirm. As a guy, unsolicited pics are usually quite a pleasant surprise, though I've never sent one, I just like getting them. Exactly. Also that area, while useful, isn't appealing to look at. I've had to explain that more than once when a dude I'm seeing sends a pic followed by you like that. You turned on now? Um no. There are parts of a man's body that do it for me visually, and that isn't on the list, but I have a specific type. I like chunkier guys. I don't like big muscles. I like hugs, so I like cuddly guys. I'm also not attracted to completely hairless guys. I also think a lot of bald guys are had a crush on Jack Black for the longest time. 
I don't care about height. The only time height has been an issue is when an ex was insecure about being shorter than me and brought it up constantly. Huge turn off. Hello I'm a chunky bald guy. Thank you for this comment. Glad to know there is hope lol. Sorry, I'm already married. I know everyone has their types, but I really don't get the height thing. I've mostly dated men that were my height or shorter, I'm 5 feet 8 inches, and it never once crossed my mind or bothered me. I don't know how someone can totally shrink their dating pool just on that factor alone. Muscles. Anything from huge, bulging, an old Schwarzenegger like bodies to six pack abs. I'm not turned off by a healthy body, but I think bulging muscles just make men look like animal balloons. And the popping veins are uncomfortable to look at. Having more subtle muscles, ones that look like they were gained doing intense yard work instead of sets at the gym are much more attractive to me. I don't know, does that make sense? The amount of men to choose from at on old levels of muscle are virtually non-existent. That's why he was a world class bodybuilder. 99% of people who go to the gym will never even come close to looking like you described at the start of your comment. They'll at best look roughly like your preference toward the end. It's really cringe for me, I feel like it's difficult to not be corny while doing it. This one guy told me he wanted to make my toes curl, and I ended a 3 week long intense flirtation right at that very moment. It's amusing to me that you ended a 3 week convo because of a bad text. Nobody is perfect. I honestly thought I was alone in this. The idea of orphan makes me recoil. Light sexting slash heavy flirting on the phone with someone you are involved with but can't be with at the moment. With the right person I enjoy it. But mostly it's weird. I don't know if this is a generally common mainstream thing, but I've experienced it with so many women I've hooked up with or dated that it feels like some kinda new norm, graphically talking about the that suited with another partner. Don't get me wrong, I understand everyone has a past, and I don't judge, but it's a massive turn off for me just cause. I don't wanna imagine the last guy you hooked up with going balls deep inside you. Same energy as, I know everyone sh that's fine, but I still do not want to hear an explicit description of the massive smelly turd that slid out of your last time you went to the toilet. Things this thread is telling me. My naked tattooed and pierced body is not nor is my panshan for dirty talking and moaning is also an issue. Tack in notes. No, you don't have to feel that way, because like the question says, what's generally considered by many people, the comments are about what few people don't like personally. Even though they are liked by men it is oh sweet. I was being slightly silly. Variety is the spice of life and we all like different things. Same. Didn't realize there was so much more to add to the list of things that make me unattractive. There's always someone for everyone. Some might find you unattractive, but some other would find you hot as hell. Don't let it get to you. You do you, and do whatever makes you happy. I don't get the whole call me daddy, or dad is little girl type talk. I'm also not a fan of shaving. Why does anyone want to fantasize that their partner is a prepubescent child? That's just creepy as I totally get shaving for bikini lines or personal comfort. But I personally prefer natural. Nobody fantasizes about their partner being a prepubescent child. That's just disgusting. That says more about you than it does about anyone else. Does that count for legs and armpits too? I'm not really a legs guy, or armpits guy for that matter. So I don't it much. I wouldn't say I prefer hairy legs and pits, but since I don't shave those for her, I don't expect her to shave them for me. Several past girlfriends have taken me up on that. But they usually found it more undesirable than me. Although it's nice to be able to take a break for a little while, and know they won't freak me out. High waisted jeans. Or mom jeans. I hate that those have come back in style, because they are so ridiculously But women seem to find them really comfortable. So ultimately that's the important thing rather than whether or not dudes like me think they're hot. Woman here. 
They are not comfortable. Especially if you have a little tummy. They squish everything in, and it feels horrible. And they're hideous. Exaggerated loud moaning. Completely takes me out of it. One time it was so bad, I had to actually shush the person. I used to be terrible for fake moaning, even screaming because I'd never had a real and Paul told me that was what I should do. I continued on until a guy stopped midway through and said look, if you're going for injured whale, excellent job. If you're going for it's a hard no. I was mortified, but never overdid it again. Damn, that's cold lol. Yeah, but I definitely needed to hear it. It was kinda scary plus I felt the need to bear my teeth almost in a snarl. I thought it was supposed to be. Turns out, a screaming chick with her teeth bared, not terribly attractive. I had to laugh so hard at this comment, no offense. A lot of people end up copying stupid stuff if it makes you feel better. Yours is just an extremely noticeable example. Kinda curious what you watch though, to arrive at the snarling whale noise, haha. <laughs> I prefer it to me being an insensitive prick trying to get my first GF to act like the actors, ugh. I really thought that her taking my into her mouth was an important part of and felt unwanted and dirty when she didn't enjoy it after I talked her into doing it. Our youth. Well I mean. It's not not an important part of If you like oral, give and ye shall receive. No but for real, if I was possibly interested in someone, and when it came time to bone she expressed zero interest in oral play, whether now or when we know each other better, I'd be gone. I wouldn't make her feel bad about it, it's just a fundamental incompatibility. When men flick or wiggle their tongue at you to be seductive. It's gross. Just stop. People do this. I've had it a lot in the past, but in a wolf whistle way, like it'll never be a pop now who does it? It'll be a stranger on the street or a snapchat video. Oh and there's also the spin-off version of them sucking their teeth loudly, to make obnoxious kissing sounds, while smirking at you, and giving you the upwards nod. It's always so f cringy and gross, but the person doing it thinks it's a turn on because they think they have amazing oral skills. Blurg. Thankfully I'm in my late 20s now, so I very rarely get that crap anymore. Street seems to be mostly targeted at the 14, 23 year old crowd, or maybe times have just changed IDK. I've noticed the age thing too. I'm thankful I'm in my 30s and rarely get cat called anymore, or like you said, maybe that aspect of life is changing for the better, but it seriously creeps me out when I think back on how old the dudes were that were whistling at me when I was only 14 to 18 years old. I dealt with more from 40 plus year olds as a teenager than I ever do now in my early 30s. Pervs everywhere man. Gross. Rough and forced. I already have to force myself out of bed to my job, I don't wanna force you to have sex with me either. I had a gf like this. It was fun, but tedious. She literally couldn't have sweet, comfortable love making, she needed to be tied up and f every single time. I feel like she desensitized herself and couldn't enjoy it normally anymore. It was fun sometimes but also a major chore and definitely factored into our breakup. I'm with you on that. I get why others are interrupted. But there is a certain line where it starts to look comical, as if it's not about pleasure or s But one person trying insanely hard to hurt the other one with an attack that isn't working, so they just keep trying it harder. Then swap to a different angle with the same attack, and while the other submits with no difference. When girls do that cross-eyed, face with their tongue sticking out, most girls I see making that face act like it's an immediate turn on for guys. Had a boyfriend ask me to do that all the time. We dated for like 9 months and I don't think I even attempted it once. Best part, it was cause Belle Delphine did it, and at the time she was under 18. I can guarantee he wanked his meat to her. So gross. I'm not into this, but. Devil advocate here, most of the world have age of consent around 15 to 16 years old. 
Beating meat on someone at this age not considered gross. I admit my few experiences were lacking, but I just don't get the same feelings. It's worse if I have to skip the sections where the woman is just giving and out of the 32 minute video 27.5 minutes is while they do that stupid goddamn thing where they thwack in the side of their mouth so it sticks out their cheek. As if I could possibly imagine that feels good. I don't mind the but I gag whenever they start blowing again after having sorry but I have zero desire to taste myself. Also the I don't see how a woman nearly vomiting is attractive, but to each their own. I don't see how a woman nearly vomiting is attractive, but to each their own. I think it's the idea of being big enough that she has to put in an effort to fit all of the in her mouth that's appealing to men, and the feeds that fantasy. Like, she cause it's just too big to fit. It's an ego thing, I assume. It's quite possible that I have a ref or something, but women's moans really turn me off if they are louder than a whisper. I often have to skim through tons of videos for hours just to find something that appeals to me. And yes, there are some women out there who are just naturally quiet during It's the sounds of her wet being that interests me. But most people just give me weird looks and say something like that's like going on a roller coaster without the screaming. But I didn't know people go on roller coasters just to hear other people scream, let alone pay attention to the passengers instead of the ride itself. My family thinks I'm nuts, but I don't find guys in super amazing shape with abs attractive. Like, I can appreciate them, but for instance, the women in my family get all sorts of crazy when they see a guy in amazing shape who is good looking, but I don't. It takes more than that for me. My type tends to be bearded dad bod types usually, often Jewish men as well, but it doesn't necessarily stay that way. If you have a good mind, I will find you irresistible. Abs just don't cut it for me. False anything, Botox jabs that make facial features looking like a swarm of wasps have had their way with this girl and some generous person had beaten them to death on her face with a cricket bat. False hair, false eyelashes, false nails, rubber t too much macoop. Make be yourself you are who you are, and no amount of plastic makes you look any better, it in fact, makes you look way worse. A woman who works with what she has, is so much more attractive. Almost any kind of dirty talk immediately takes me out of the moment, because it never sounds natural. Fortunately I haven't experienced anything terrible myself, but I used to live downstairs from a woman who literally screamed oh yeah, f me, tiger, and my gf. And I were laughing so loudly I'm pretty sure she heard us. Charming, witty men. I can't even explain why, just an immediate negative gut reaction. I guess anyone who seems too positive slash charming slash capable just gives me vibes that they are hiding something awful. Being charming and witty are markers of intelligence in all humans. Smart people are less likely to be manipulated and more likely to manipulate you. Charming people of both also have more dominant alpha traits that often make more submissive personalities uneasy. It's like a predator slash prey scenario, but with social engineering. So yeah, if you can't handle the heat, date an idiot. This is the end of the video, thank you guys for staying with me till the end. If you enjoyed watching this, you might as well watch these two.